All right, so we're gonna go over how to change the belt on a 22 horse base model mud skipper surface drive. First you gotta do is pull the clutch cover off and uh, that's just gonna be four 10 millimeter bolts on the both sides, or two on both sides, so four in total. Then you got to pull this lower housing right here off. And what I had to do is I had to take a rent Allen wrench and I had to cut it down on the snout uh, to make it shallow to get to uh, the top bolt that's going to be right here. Everything else you can just get to with a normal Allen socket. And I believe that is a five millimeter Allen. I can find out real quick. It is, yeah a five millimeter allen so 10 millimeter wrench or 10 millimeter socket also and five millimeter, five millimeter allen also make sure you hit pull this drain plug out in case you do have any water keep building up in here because that's what cooked my last belt i believe but then you're gonna um loosen your four bolts and holding it to the back of the engine Bring down your tensioners here. You're gonna loosen the two bolts up here, the two bolts on the other side, and then these three and those three. And the entire assembly should um, drop down. So what you're gonna do then is you're gonna snake the belt down in, over and around, and it's gonna be a little tight getting it out and over um, this lower pulley, but it's doable. Once you do that, you can just uh, pick it up and over and kind of work it over that top pulley. <coughs> so once it's up and over the top pulley, you can let it drop down. I snug these up just a little bit. Left these loose. Well, not like loose, loose, but you know, not tight. And then I put some uh, tension on it and I've got about a quarter of an inch of deflection in the belt and that's what I had on it last time and I ran it for about 15 20 hours but like I said I had about this much water built up in the bottom of it and I didn't realize it while I was running it so <clears throat> but yeah that is uh what it looks like to change a belt once you get that done tied up all your bolts and um Put your covers on and fire it up and you should be good to go.